is about metal music but it makes it feel like Call of Duty is just so much faster whenever you throw some metal in the background on some gameplay. But I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro. I just uh, recently got a few more songs as you could probably recently guess by my past few videos. I decided you know might as well get some new music get some more fresh content for you guys because I'm always trying to improve as a commentator and do all that good stuff. But you're looking here at a gameplay as you can tell by the title it says Curse of the Green Triangles. I brought this back. It was kind of a spinoff of Thunder series because he does a Curse of the Green Triangles thing. And uh, I thought it'd be cool to do my own little version of that. And uh, my teammates aren't really the best. I do have one individual teammate that actually does pull his own weight, which is awesome. I'm assuming he was the guy using the RH-70 in the beginning of this gameplay. You can actually have heard it. I don't know if you actually heard it shoot, but he's running around with the RH-70. He was on my team. That was probably that guy that does the, uh, you'll see it then, the score, of course. You know, we got the, uh, the rest of our teammates, though. They're pretty clueless. It's all good. I actually, uh, this is the first time I actually play on this map, and I do like it. It's pretty cool. It's got a good, you know, amount of uh, flow to it. It's got a good pace. It's it's good for rushers and all that good stuff. I like it because you can pretty much use assault rifles and SMGs on it. And you know, you still have those people that like to use the LMG target finders, but I didn't really run into too many of them this game. I don't believe uh, mainly just AN94s and SCARs and you know just simple guns like that. The more common weapons, you know, mainly the assault rifles. Uh, assault rifles have been pretty dominant in this game and uh, Modern Warfare. Not Modern Warfare 3. I apologize. Call of Duty Ghost. Which they were kind of dominant in Modern Warfare 3, I'm not going to lie, the ACR and the SCAR were pretty beast. So was them 4 and the FAD if you used them properly. But, uh, you know, the SMGs actually ruled that game pretty well uh, as well. They held their own weight. But uh, in Call of Duty Ghost and Black Ops 2, the SR rifles and SMGs uh, have been pretty dominant. The SMGs, uh, especially in the beginning of Black Ops 2, they were really uh, powerful. And before they caught a bunch of nerfs and stuff, they uh, nerfed the hip fire with the laser. They nerfed the accuracy of that a little bit, I believe. I don't, you know, look up all these patch updates and notes and all that, but I just look at other commentators that uh, kind of give information out like that, and I find it useful, and I'm pretty sure it's pretty much 100% accurate, and, you know, I'm just going to go off of what they say, I'm going to go off of their word, so I'm pretty much sure that the SMGs mainly got a nerf, especially the MSMC, like I said, and the PDW, uh, both were pretty powerful SMGs in the beginning of the game, and now they're kind of average, now they're uh, subpar, along with the rest of the SMGs, they're kind of, you know, they're pretty on level with each other, each SMG is pretty unique in this game. I still think my favorite is probably the MP7. I have no idea if that has anything to do with the MP7 in Modern Warfare 3. That was one of my favorite SMGs. Not because it was very overpowered, but just because I felt like it was um, just a fun gun to use. I realized it was incredibly accurate and, like I said, very unbalanced and overpowered. But I had a lot of fun using it, especially whenever I really needed to pull my team out of the hole that they dug or whatever. You know, if we're not doing so good, I usually switch to that class. And, uh, you know, it helps out a lot. Like I said, that has a lot to do with its power, and uh, I think that might have just carried over to Black Ops 2, but the MP7 in this game is pretty beast. I like the clip size because it is 40 rounds, unless you put extended mags, which I believe goes up to 54. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. Uh, I usually don't run extended mags. I usually run fast mags and a suppressor or long barrel or rapid fire, one of those three. I usually mix them up depending on what I want to do, but uh, all around it's a very good gun, and it's one of my main used SMGs in this game. But uh pick up a few different guns this gameplay here just trying to get a little bit of different versatility and uh you know of course have the long range capabilities because the n94 is a complete monster like i said in the previous commentary i think it's a little bit too good but i'm not here to complain about it because it's not nearly as bad as the lmgs with the target finders that have really low recoil i really uh hope that if treyarch comes out you know with the next call of duty which who knows what it is i'm not exactly for sure what it is going to be called probably black ops 3 but i could be wrong so i guess we'll have to see in the future with that but I guess I can go back to this video and laugh about it whenever they call it something like White Ops or something. <laughs> Who knows what they're going to call it, you know. But uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what Treyarch's going to do again because I actually did kind of enjoy this game looking back on it. And I'm probably going to go get some more gameplay today, actually, because I was enjoying myself with it. And I'll probably go get some uh, Zombies gameplay for you eventually. Uh, I'll probably do some live comms and all that good stuff for you guys. Uh, of course, let me know down in the comments if you would like to see that. 
because I'm trying to get content that you want to enjoy because I don't know exactly what all you want to watch. I know someone mentioned that they want me to go back to the future, so we're here in 2025 again. And, uh, you know, a lot of people I don't blame them for wanting to go back to the previous Call of Duty because it's part of the Call of Duty life cycle where, you know, the new Call of Duty comes out, everybody gets hyped about it, and they play it for like two weeks and they're already bored of it. They usually burn themselves out, or it's just not as good as they expected. So I try to um, lower my expectations for Ghost. And uh, it's even lower than those expectations. I mean, the game is not that bad. It's just the maps. So I'm hoping that, like I said, the DLC that they come out with will definitely improve. Hopefully it'll be a lot of more close quarters maps to fit the playstyle of the classic run and gunner. And as you can see, we unfortunately did not win the match. I wanted to put up this gameplay just because it kind of indicates, you know, just kind of the Curse of the Green Triangles uh, stereotype. Like I said, we unfortunately didn't win. I tried my best to win, and you can see on the scoreboard right about now, my teammate, uh, he came really close to actually getting the amount of kills that I did, which was really impressive. Usually, you don't expect randoms to do that, and you can see all the double kills and all that good stuff I got at the end of this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary. You guys, of course, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.